Hello everyone, it is Peter Sam the Narrow Gage Engine here, and today we're going to be ranking every season 3 episode from worst to best. Season 3 is one of them where it's it's not as good as the first two, but it's it's still pretty solid. But I think we should move on to number 26. Now, in number 26 is The Trouble With Mud. This episode is sort of like two parts, you know, and I don't like how Gordon uh, has none of his personality that he did before. Honestly, I just think this is, like, a total alternate universe. I think Gordon managed to get into the Twilight Zone somehow. Like, I don't think I can accept this canonically. But let's move on to number 25. Now, in number 25 is Thomas Kett's Bump. It's not that I don't like this episode. I mean, I kind of forgot it existed. It's just a fairly simple episode with a fairly simple crash. Nothing too major, but let's move on to number 24. So in number 24 is Thomas Percy and the Post Train. Sodor at night gives us some great scenery. Although the conclusion to this episode is a bit naff. Just a letter saying, oh, everyone loves the post train. I still don't think that stops the complaint, but yeah. Also, does Thomas pull Annie and Clarabelle and take the post train at night? Does Thomas even need sleep anymore? Let's just get on to number 23 before we ask too many questions. Now in number 23, is Edward Trevor and the Really Useful Party. How do you spell boring again? Is it with two R's or just one? While it is nice that we're making use of those uh, non-rail vehicles, the most entertaining part of that episode was Edward having those posters stuck on him. Oh, and Terence, because I love Terence. But yeah, apart from that, it's just a bit bland, isn't it? Let's shuffle over to number 22. All right, so in number 22 is Thomas Percy and the Dragon. That dragon is the most epic thing I've ever seen. But I can't help feeling like the people could have done more. Like, why don't we have uh, the flatbed uh, run away from Thomas and chase Percy down the line? That's a good idea. Just dial up that fear factor a tiny bit more. But apart from that, yeah, very it's a pretty all right episode for me. Let's move on to number 21. Now, in number 21 is Diesel Does It Again. I can't like this episode, really. It's always great to see Diesel back, but he has resorted to the likes of just bumping engines and it's not it's not on. Diesel in season two was crafty. He knew what he was doing. He caused chaos. And here he's just kind of acting like Bill and Ben. Ever since this episode, I've always liked Diesel a bit less. Also note that um, in my ranking every season two episode video, I said we wouldn't see Diesel for like six more seasons. I uh, forgot about this. I don't really like watching season three. <laughs> but let's just get on to number 20. In my number 20 spot is no joke for James. James is even more of a prat than in season two. Which is shocking because I, I don't see how he could get any worse. But he's worse. In this episode, he nicks the express. He, he just steals the express off of Gordon. I feel bad for Gordon here because he just take he just has his train taken but let's move on to number 19 so in number 19 is donald's duck this is a very funny episode and that duck is adorable and it's funny how donald and duck um try to out prank each other but the problem is is uh I, I don't really like either of these characters. So it's all right, but it probably would have been better with characters like Oliver or Mavis or Toby. But let's move on to number 18. In number 18 is Percy, James and the Fruitful Day. It's nice to see the both of these engines get their comeuppance. I think it teaches the viewers that you really shouldn't laugh at other people's mistakes because then you'll end up like Percy did. And that ending is just, whew, and everyone just saying we're really useful after all is just magnificent. Also, got to mention that Percy's crash was great. But let's move on to number 17. Now, in number 17 is a scarf for Percy. I think the title for this episode is better than the book's title, which is called Percy in the Trousers. And it's a good plot as well, like an engine wanting a scarf. And that crash is great and the trousers wrapping around Percy's funnel acting like a scarf. Just amazing. But the next episode just beat it out. So let's move on to number 16. Number 16 is Gordon and the Famous Visitor. This episode really kind of highlights Gordon's insecurities with him not being like the best engine. And that's only doubled when his dome flies off. I think I would have preferred the original title for this episode, which was Domeless Engines. But apart from that, a pretty solid episode. So let's go to number 15. Now in number 15 is Time for Trouble. The ending with the boys on the platform is great. And it's just an episode 
episode really where Toby gets his well-deserved justice. Although again, I would have preferred if uh, they stuck to the original title for this episode, which was Double Header. But alas, it makes no difference to how good this episode is. So let's move on to number 14. Now in number 14 is one good turn. I put this episode here because I love the bond between Bill and Ben. Their friendship is one of the best, I think, throughout the whole series. And while the plot could have been better, I'm choosing to focus more on how Bill and Ben see each other and how they make up at the end. But it's still not as good as the other Bill and Ben episode, which is in number 13. In the 13th spot is Heroes. I don't think the first half of this episode was needed at all, which is ironic because this is halfway down the list. But the way the China clay pits collapse, and it's just so beautiful, and especially that tower falling. It's just a shame that the first half was so, like, just mediocre. But let's move to number 12. Now, in number 12 is Buzz Buzz. I think people have mixed opinions of this episode. Like, I found some people that love it and some people... That just hate it. Some people think it's a masterpiece and some people think it's overrated. I rated this episode really high because of that bee. That poorly animated crappy bee. It's adorable. This episode is just like funny in general and if you're up for a, like a more humorous episode, Buzz Buzz is your episode. But let's move on to number 11. In 11th place is Trust Thomas. What did we want? Thomas not to be an arsehole. What did we get? Trust Thomas. This episode is a great one. Although I can understand why Thomas is such an arsehole all the time. Because the second he is nice, James manipulates him and makes him take his trucks. And that ultimately leads him to sink into a swamp. So thanks, James, you giant douche. But anyway, yeah, this is a solid episode. Love it. Uh, but let's move on to our top 10. Just before we get to the top 10 though, could I ask a favour of you? Could you drop a like, a subscribe, anything? Please, it helps me and the channel greatly. Helps me to make more videos like this. But enough of that, let's just move on to our top 10. Now in our number 10 spot is Mavis. The episode itself is pretty good, I think. That theme... Her theme is catchy. And I think this is the start of her overall arc as a character. She was once foolish, but now she's uh, she's grown and she's wise. And I think Mavis is just a pretty cool character, if I'm honest. So let's move on to number nine. Now, in number nine is Thomas and Percy's Christmas Adventure. If they made films back in, like, the season three days of Thomas, I think this could be a very good film. The scenery and the decoration of the shed is beautiful. Also, we get Terence back for another Christmas episode, which is just, like, the cherry on the beautiful cake. And it's funny once you realise that the Americans over in that area of the world had this episode as Thanksgiving. So not only has this episode got a good plot, but it's got trivia around it as well that's really interesting. But let's move to number eight. So in number eight is Percy's Promise. This is the Edwards exploit of season three. But I think personally it goes a lot further than that. I think it shows two very good personality traits that Percy has. The first one is that he's a committed and loyal friend, which we could kind of see elements from um, Thomas Percy and the Cole, but I think it shines brighter here. And the second uh, one is that Percy will not break a promise. And in some ways, I think Percy's promise is better than Edward's exploit. In Edward's exploit, Edward's crank pins broke, whereas in Percy's promise, Percy gets trapped in a flood. But you've got to give Percy a lot more credit for pushing through the flood and managing to get his passengers home. But let's move on to number seven. In seventh place is All at Sea. I'm just calling it right now. This is the best episode Duck has ever been in. We get to see his imaginative side in this episode. And it's a side I don't really think we see much of with Duck. And am I the only one that notices how Duck wants to be a boat? or go on water, go past the horizon at the docks. I think that's quite punny. So yeah, this episode is pretty much just a feel-good episode, and that last shot at the end just 
it, it, it warms my heart every time. But let's move on to number six. So in number six is Toby's tightrope. The plot of this episode is so beautifully written. And the scene where Toby's dangling with just the rails, it's just amazing. Plus, it's the second episode with Mavis. And it shows that actually she can be really useful. It only took a tram to nearly die, but you know, we got there. But let's move on to number five. Now, in number five is Tender Engines. Engines wanting more tenders like the Flying Scotsman is amusing and a very cool concept. I think the bit that stands out uh, most in this episode is when Henry's pulling those like sludgy tenders. Again, I would have preferred the, the story's original name, Tenders for Henry, but you get what you get with season three. So let's just move on to number four. In number four for me is Bulgy. Bulgy is another great villain for the series. A double-decker bus that steals Duck's passengers. It's just brilliant. He's like the opposite of Bertie. His comeuppance is great, especially with the bit under the bridge. And my favourite part of the episode has to be at the end, when he's turned into a hen house. But let's move on to our top three now in number three is oliver owns up this is the episode where we really get to learn a lot about oliver and what a beautiful character that is he's cool yet he's flawed which is a beautiful dynamic like with daisy and also the crash is just great in this episode and i think the title for this episode is better than the story title resource and sagacity it's a show for kids so they're not going to have those big words as a title yet they still mention it in the episode which i found pretty weird but let's move to number two now in second place is henry's forest wilbur audrey the creator of the railway series said that he doesn't like this episode and i can't for the life of me understand why we get to see a softer side to henry we get more character development for him which is great because in later seasons he's just shoved aside when the storm hits and the forest is destroyed you can see the devastation in him and to top it all off we get a lovely feel-good ending where everything's fine and everything's nice so audrey if you're watching from beyond the grave you're wrong and you know you're wrong because we get to see henry and what he cares about but let's move on to our top pick and i think we all know what this is gonna be and in our top spot is escape we all know this was coming it is hands down the best episode from the fact that douglas is inspired by edward to help oliver out to the scenery of the scrapyard or vickers town or wherever it is this is also why i sort of like douglas more than donald even though they both have good episodes the mood in this one is just much more eerier and i've just realized something so do at night time is just beautiful and especially in this episode that goes for the flying kipper as well so thank you so much for watching every view every like it helps me grow and makes me want to do more of these because i love doing them but yeah anyway have a good rest of your day and i'll see you later